She spent three years at the height of her career and only made four original albums, but Janis Joplin is still a legend in rock music 40 years after her death. Now her larger-than-life voice is living on in a Broadway show. Alex takes you to the premiere in New York. Okay. It's one of the most iconic voices in music history, and it is alive right here on Broadway. A Night with Janis Joplin celebrates the legendary rock and roll artist, and we are about to meet the star of the big show. There's a line in the show that Janis says, you know, I didn't simply just emerge this rock and roll chick. It took a lot of hard work to get here. And, and when I say that, I'm like, amen, sister. Obvious question favorite Janis Joplin song? My favorite one to sing is Maybe because it was an old Chantel tune that she grew up loving and she turned it into a soul ballad and it was really when Janis was honestly becoming a like beyond screaming like a vocalist. So what was that like for you to actually see the embodiment of the memory of your sister? I'm so appreciative that Mary would have not only the talent to learn the role, but she has the heart built into her. She knows the character from the inside out, and it just comes alive in the music. You know, I remember in high school, sort of rocking out, if you could say, use the word rocking out at this stage in my life, rocking out to Janis Joplin. And there hasn't been anybody who sounds like her, looks like her, and sings like her since. I'm so glad I got to come with my man and experience it because it was unbelievable. This must be Donnie, the perfect date night, right? It was more than I could have hoped if for. If I put out, maybe it'll be perfect. <laughs> it was an awesome show. And um, honestly, the, everything after the show is I just a cherry on top. <laughs> It's not a one-woman tribute show. It's it's a real deal musical theater rock and roll awesomeness show. You're a rock star in your own right. Thank you.